Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. The Netherlands announced that it will implement a ban on lithography machines on September 1st. By then, ASML's high-end DUV lithography machines will not be able to be shipped to the mainland market normally. In fact, there are early signs of the Netherlands' actions. The United States was wooing the Netherlands to join the restricted camp last year. At the end of March this year, ASML even revealed that the Netherlands had reached an agreement with the United States. However, the evil consequences of the ban on lithography machines came. China wanted to impose export controls on gallium and germanium, and the Netherlands asked the EU to come forward. After that, some foreign media said, the EU cannot save the Netherlands. The Dutch lithography machine has a high strength and reputation in the field of chip manufacturing. Dutch company ASML is the world's leading manufacturer of photolithography machines, whose products are widely used in the semiconductor industry, including chip manufacturing and advanced packaging technology. ASML's lithography machine technology has a competitive advantage in the international market and is considered to be one of the most advanced and efficient manufacturing tools at present. However, the Netherlands still failed to stick to the principle of free trade and eventually joined forces with the United States. In the past few years, the United States has adopted a series of restrictive measures against China's technological development, including restrictions on the export of key technologies such as chips. As an important equipment for chip manufacturing, lithography machines have become the key restrictions in the United States. Originally, the Netherlands did not intend to stand with the United States. After all, the Chinese market is its very important trading partner, but it is not known what means the United States used to make the Netherlands compromise. In any case, the result is already doomed. The Netherlands will implement a ban on lithography machines on September 1st. At that time, ASML's high-end DUV lithography machines will not be able to be shipped to mainland China normally. However, the evil consequences of the ban on lithography machines have come. China will impose export controls on gallium and germanium, and the rules will be implemented from August 1st. China implemented export control rules a month earlier than the Netherlands. If it is not a coincidence, it is intentional for the Netherlands to reflect. The Netherlands was given enough time for a month so that he could go back in time and correct his mistakes. The response of the Netherlands was to approach the European Union and ask the European Union to come forward to let China respond to the export control issue. After that, some foreign media said, the EU cannot save the Netherlands. The reason is that the EU also cannot get rid of its dependence on the Chinese gallium and germanium supply chain. If you want to solve the supply problem of gallium and germanium, you have to find China to resume supply cooperation and obtain the corresponding licenses. Either choose to build a new industrial chain by yourself without relying on China's supply cooperation. At present, there is no sign that the EU can obtain a license, so building an independent industrial chain has become the main direction for European countries to explore. But things are not that simple. Building a gallium and germanium industry chain is a complex task that requires a lot of capital and technical support. Gallium and germanium are rare metals whose mining and refining process 
requires highly specialized equipment and technology. Building an industrial chain also requires the establishment of a sound supply chain and market system, including raw material supply, processing and manufacturing, and product sales. For the EU, it is difficult to get rid of the gallium and germanium industry chain to China. China has strong advantages in the gallium and germanium industry chain, including abundant resource reserves, mature technology and production capacity, and a complete supply chain. If the EU wants to achieve the goal of getting rid of it, it needs to increase the development and utilization of local gallium and germanium resources, strengthen related technology research and development and industrialization transformation, and also need to cooperate with other countries to ensure the stability and reliability of supply. It is very difficult to implement any of these items, and it cannot be solved overnight. Moreover, gallium is an associated mineral and cannot be obtained by direct mining. It is often necessary to extract gallium from a large amount of aluminum products, and germanium is a byproduct of zinc. In other words, in order to obtain the resource guarantee of gallium and germanium, it also needs to be able to consume huge aluminum and zinc production capacity, which is simply unbearable unless it is a country with a strong industrial system. Although the EU's industry is developed, it may not be able to solve problems such as mining equipment and refining technology. These things are in the hands of China. The Netherlands has caused the evil consequences of the ban on lithography machines. If it hadn't been for the Netherlands and the United States to reach an agreement and make things worse, it might be a different situation. China's export controls on gallium and germanium are like pulling the trigger. The United States starts with chip products, while China controls the raw materials of chips, which hits the weakness of the United States and makes the United States powerless. Chips are a highly globalized industry, and the United States is the initiator of this development. Destroying the globalization of chips will not do the United States any good. It seems to hinder the development of competitors, but in fact it will strengthen the determination of opponents to develop themselves and will involve more irrelevant people. Since the United States does not abide by global trade rules, there is no need to calmly reason and take practical actions to make the United States suffer the consequences of self-destruction. Only in this way will the United States understand what to do and what not to do. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.